so um, we have a song that was written by Buffy St. Marie. Um, she's a famous indigenous Canadian-American singer, songwriter. And she wrote this song called Welcome Immigrante decades ago. And it's about our need to welcome immigrants to America. My immigrant family has been traced back to getting off of the ship at Jamestown, Virginia in the 1640s. And they haven't fell, fallen very far from the tree. They're all still back there. Um, those relatives that came over on that boat were desperate. They were either in debtor's prison, starving, being persecuted for their religious beliefs, or all of the above. And do you think for one minute that today's immigrants who leave their homeland with only the clothes on their back while leaving their family behind and leaving their native language, that they just want to see what's on the other side of the mountain? No. Either their lives are in danger, they're facing starvation, or their kids might be stolen for slavery or worse. The immigrant that I most admire, some people here in the audience know uh, from Silicon Valley, his name is Gus Camalinga. At age 15, Gus crossed the Mexican border to the US with no adults or family and did not know English. Why? His father was violent and abusive and he feared for his life and he had no future. He happened to win a car worth $4,000 and a raffle 30 years ago in Mexico. He sold it for cash. He paid $1,200 to a coyote, dispersed the cash in different parts of his clothing, crossed swamps, went through a gang cartel crossing a river. He then had to run across a US four-lane freeway with 20 other immigrants. But then he found Mecca, his first big whopper at a Burger King with free soda refills. He couldn't believe it. So fast forward, he, and six years later, he owned his first home in San Jose at age 21. He now has 50 employees and the best painting company in Silicon Valley. My point is that immigrants don't usually leave their native home unless there's something dreadfully wrong. And let us remember that we all here are immigrants, probably from that past background. 